Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today we continue our uh, course in System Design Fundamentals. Today we'll talk about logging vs monitoring. What are what are the differences between both of them? So logging and monitoring are both critical components of a robust system management strategy, helping ensure operational reliability, performance, and security. While they are related and often work together within an ecosystem, their focus, purpose, and the way they are used can differ significantly. Let's first talk about logging. We need to answer some questions if you want to talk about logging. First, what is logging? Logging is the process of recording events and data outputs such as error, transactions, or system state information during the runtime of a system. These logs are stored in log files and are essential for debugging, auditing, and tracing how a system operates over time. Let's talk about some key aspects of logging because I guess it will be... No, no, no. So in terms of the key aspects, let's just make this to slide to the left of logging, not just. The first thing that we want to talk about, which is the detail oriented. Logs provide detailed timestamps records of events that can be analyzed to understand what happened when and in what order. Second, diagnostic, primarily used for error diagnosis and debugging, logs help developers and system administrators troubleshoot issues by offering a historical account of system activities. Three, audit and compliance. Logs can be used to audit system and user activities to ensure compliance with various regularity standards and policies. Let's talk about monitoring. First, we want to know what is monitoring monitoring involves the continuous observation of a, of a system's operational state and performance it uses various tools and techniques to collect analyze and visualize data in real time aiming to detect report and ideally predetect issues. Let's talk about some key aspects of monitoring. First, we have performance tracking. Monitoring tools track the health and performance of systems and applications, looking at metrics such as CPU usage, memory consumption, response times, and throughput. Alerting. Automated alerts notify system administrators or operations teams of potential issues or anomalies that could indicate problems or system degre uh, degradation. Three, oh no, three, proactive management. Monitoring aims not just to detect current issues, but also to, de to uh, predict potential future problems, allowing for pre prevent uh, preventive measures to be taken. 
what all the differences right now? Let's try to talk about what all the differences. So in order to do the differences, let's talk about some things. First, we want to talk about the focus. Logging is event-oriented, focusing on the specific details of event that have occurred. Monitoring is performance-oriented, focusing on the operational state and health of the system. Use case. Let's make this quite wide. Use case. Logging is primarily used for after-the-fact analysis, such as debugging and auditing. Monitoring is used for real-time visibility and proactive management of systems. Number three, data management. Logs contain discrete entries of events and are managed as files or within log management system. Monitoring data is often aggregated, analyzed, and presented through dashboards in real time. So while logging and monitoring serve different purposes, they complete they, they, um, they complement each other in maintaining system health and performance. For example, monitoring can alert to a high error rate and logs can then provide the detailed events leading up to these errors. Modern DevOps and SRE, Site Reliability Engineering, practices often integrate logging and monitoring closely to automate system observability and reliability measures. So in conclusions, logging provides the narrative details of what has happened within a system, whereas monitoring gives a real-time snapshot of its current state and performance. Both are indispensable for diagnosing and resolving issues, ensuring um, compliance and maintaining the overall health and efficiency of a system. So that's it for today's video.